Alex, I wanted to give you guys a glimpse outside. We're now hitting a daybreak, but as you can see from the look outside, you we have embers falling on our heads from this Thomas fire that has now grown to 31,000 acres. It's at zero percent containment here at the Ventura Fairgrounds is where the evacuated designated. I'm sorry evacuation center has been de designated and you can see the winds are blowing. This is going to definitely hurt in this fire fight today. That's what fire officials were telling me just moments ago. Last night wind gusts reached up to 50 to 70 miles per hour. Fire officials say they have not been able to focus on fighting this fire. Their main concern at this time is protecting homes and getting people um, out of harm's way. So far 150 fires have been destroyed. That's in the upper Ohio Valley area. Ventura City and Santa Paula. Now there's about 600 evacuees here. Um, that's a, that's a total of 27 people. 27,000 people have been evacuated. Some of the issues that we're dealing with here at the evacuation center is a power outage. At least 180,000 people in the county of Ventura are without power at this time. That's including here at the fairground. So there's only one building that has a power and that's running off of a generator. The power keeps flickering on and off. Folks with the Red Cross tell me they're just hoping that the power stays on until you know, the sun comes up. Very um, frustrated residents here. So a lot of them don't know if their homes are still standing, the, uh, if they'll have a home to go back to. You can smell the uh, the, the smell of smoke here. Everyone's walking around with uh, masks on their faces. And like I said, I, you can feel the ashes falling from the sky. We want to toss to some um, an interview that we did just moments ago with a woman who described the scene here in Ventura. Okay, we, we've seemed to uh, lost that sound. This has also um, been the command post. You see several fire agencies from around California here. We have uh, fire agencies from neighboring areas like LA County, Riverside County, even the Clovis Fire Department has some firefighters out here. Uh, the uh, Elena Rusk has been telling you all morning the winds are what are making is going to make this a tough uh, fire to put out. I want to bring in fire captain uh, Scott DeTore with the Ventura County Fire Department. We have daybreak now. I know we were waiting till the sun comes up to launch the choppers. Where are we with that at this moment? Uh, that is still where we're at right now. We're still, we have not um, had the confirmation that they are airborne, uh, but if, if not, they should be very soon. And now, um, since we've last spoken, have we? do we have an update on acreage? Do we have an update on maybe how many structures have been lost since that time? At last count, we were at 31,000 acres burned, 0% containment, 27,000 people evacuated, and 150 homes lost. Yeah, those are still our numbers, uh, but we do expect those to go up as the sun comes up and we have better visibility. We do expect those numbers to go up. We do have, though, now a um, evacuations. We have two evacuations that we want to get out to the public. These are both, both north of Loma Vista uh, one is mandatory and that evacuation that is mandatory is between Ashwood and Victoria and then continuing east from Victoria to Wells that is voluntary but from Ashwood to Victoria is mandatory north of Loma Vista and then from Victoria to Wells Drive is voluntary my goodness and so can is it safe to say that most of our uh, firefighters are being utilized to just evacuate homes at this time and put up structure protection yes we are still in essence in a defensive posture because of the wind we are not able to get in front of this thing right now um, the priority is making sure we are getting everyone out and then protecting those structures as the fire passes through and we really want to thank the citizens because they've been very cooperative in getting out of the way I do, is, is there any parts that are under voluntary evacuations? So those people that are saying, you know, we're going to wait this thing out, we're going to see how close it gets, what is your advice to folks that are staying put? Well, our advice is always to leave um, because unless you've been in one of these situations, it's hard to imagine the difficulties of remaining behind. The smoke, the heat, it's... Uh, it, it's difficult. Um, it becomes it's dangerous. Okay, so yes, we ask that they leave. If they don't leave, then our best bet is for them to stay indoors. Okay, um, keep the doors and windows closed. Keep the blinds away. Um, if they have the ability to get outside, you know, to wet down the area. But again, we prefer that they leave. Right. And um, are, do, what, do, where, where do you see this going by by the end of the day? What's the best case scenario for today? 
Uh, right now, we're not making any projections. So the, for us, the best case scenario would be for the winds to calm down a little bit, uh, for the air to support to really help our efforts, and that we hopefully start stopping this fire um, and reduce the structures lost. Uh, but again, it's so much of it's dependent on the weather. And which is which Mother Nature is not working on our side this morning. That is correct. Not at all. We expect these winds to continue for a while. Thank you so much, Captain. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that's the very latest. Once again, 31,000 acres have burned in this Thomas fire. 27,000 people evacuated. Zero percent containment. There is no cause of the, for this fire at this time. We have heard of one uh, uh, death in this fire. It was a car crash related to the fire. We'll, of course, continue to gather more information and bring it to you as soon as we get it on our website. Turn to 23.com as well as our 23ABC Facebook page live in Ventura. I'm Faven K, 23ABC.